Edible Poly, the paint deformation rollout. Let's create a box, and I'm going to kick up the values here a little bit. Uh, to say five segments for now, and I create a box, and there's there's my box. I'm going to right click on it, convert it to an editable poly. Now, I go in the editable poly and I select up, select on any sub object level here and I'm going to scroll all the way down in my rollouts. I'm going all the way down here to my paint deformation. In my paint deformation I can do a push pull. And a push pull, when I come over here, I'm going to be able to pick on any vertice when I pick on it, it pushes or pulls the object. So you can kind of see I come down here and I can pick on one over here and you see how it's pushing or pulling out the objects. So I pick on this and it's pushing out those objects or pulling on those objects. Now, um, you can kind of come over here and see there's three different buttons. I can turn that off. I come over here and hit the relax button and I can pick on that button and it's going to uh, relax the bus button is going to uh, maintain the distance between the vertices of the object. So I'm going to come up here and pick on it. So it kind of squashes it back down, right? And depending on how we pick on things, that is relax. If I hit revert and revert, then I pick on it, it goes back to its original. Um, revert goes back to erases all the effects of push pull essentially okay so I have to select and revert back to all of them there get them all back to where it was all right so push pulling is allows me to grab a hold of something and give it a pull pull out and the relax makes it go back and the revert eliminates all effects of the pushing and pulling.